Tonight, we have team coverage covering all angles of this. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is speaking with one state lawmaker who wants more pro-life legislation passed. Mike DeForest is looking at the potential impacts here in Florida. But we begin with News 6's Amanda Castro in the newsroom. She has details on the ruling and reaction from lawmakers. Lisa, we heard from President Biden following the Supreme Court's decision. He told the nation that the health and life of women are now at risk. Lawmakers reacting to today's ruling with Republicans saying this returns the power to regulate abortion to the states, while Democrats say the fight to protect women's rights is not over. In a historic move, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, ending nearly 50 years of constitutional protections for abortion. President Biden calling this a sad day for the court and for the country. They didn't limit it. They simply took it away. That's never been done to a right so important to so many Americans. But they did it. The ruling comes in a case involving a Mississippi law that banned abortions after 15 weeks. Justice Samuel Alito delivered the majority opinion. He was joined by four other conservative justices, saying the Constitution doesn't make reference to abortion, writing, quote, it is time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote a concurring opinion, saying while he agrees, he would have upheld the Mississippi law without necessarily overturning Roe. The three liberal justices wrote the dissenting opinion, saying, quote, with sorrow for this court, but more for the many millions of American women who have today lost a fundamental constitutional protection, we dissent. The decision is expected to initiate new rules limiting or banning abortions in half of the states, with some places immediately. 13 states have so-called trigger laws that will outlaw abortion in most cases now that Roe is overturned. Florida lawmakers reacting to the ruling. Senator Marco Rubio tweeting, the Supreme Court has returned the power to regulate abortion to the states. And Congressman Mario Diaz-Balart tweeting, today, life wins. Congresswoman Stephanie Murphy says she's disappointed, tweeting it's a dark day for our country and the court. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi saying this following the decision. It's a slap in the face to women about using their own judgment to make their own decisions about their reproductive freedom. The president also said this decision shows the conservative majority of the Supreme Court is far removed from the majority of the country. And we did have an idea that this decision was coming down after an opinion was leaked last month, hinting the Supreme Court was leaning toward overturning Roe versus Wade. News 6's Amanda Castro live in the newsroom. Thank you, Amanda. We